Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make an amazing pizza dough. Mm, just love it. A friend of mine, he's been making pizzas for over 25, 30 years now, and he invited me over to his house and taught me how to make this recipe. This is his go-to recipe for pizza, and it's now my go-to recipe. Let's get started. Down in the description, I'll list all the ingredients and tools that I use to make this awesome pizza dough. First, what we want to do is we want to proof the yeast. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our two cups of water and we're going to heat it up between 105 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's do that first, and then we'll add our yeast and our sugar. All right, once our water's heated up, I'm going to take our sugar and put that in there. And that's gonna let the, uh, the yeast is gonna feed on that. Put our yeast in there. And I'm gonna just take a whisk and give it a good whisk. And now we just let this sit and let the yeast do its thing. It's gonna get all nice and foamy. And uh, then we'll know that it's ready. And it'll take about five to 10 minutes for the yeast to get completely active. All right, as you can see, our yeast is active. It's all nice and foamy, ready to go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our oil and put it in with the yeast. Go ahead and uh, give it a good whisk. Okay, set this over here. Now I'm gonna take my flour and my semolina flour and put that in there. And my salt. And we'll go ahead and mix this together really well. And what the semolina flour is gonna do is this gonna help it get a, a, a chewier crust and add some more body to the dough. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding a little bit of our flour mixture at a time, maybe about a quarter of it at a time. And we'll start with our whisk. And then we're gonna go ahead and move over to a wooden spoon. Add some more flour. Add some more flour. Okay, add just a little bit more of our flour. And then we'll save the rest to knead in. And what I do when it gets about that, at, the, at about this point where it's pulling away and it's sticking together, you go ahead and you come in, start coming with your hands. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it on our surface here. Get all the flour out. And we're gonna just start kneading our dough. And the way I knead is you take your dough, you fold it over, you push, and then you turn. Fold over, push, turn like that. And we're gonna knead this for about eight minutes. And as it gets sticky, we'll add more flour. Okay, and once you're done kneading, usually you'll have about a half a cup of your uh, flour left. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our a bowl here, and we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil, olive oil in there, about half of a tablespoon, and we'll just get the sides going with it. Then we're gonna take our dough, make sure we mix it all around, so it gets some olive oil coated all around it. And then, that's gonna help it from drying out. We're gonna take a damp towel, place it right on top, and we'll set this in a warm place and let it, um, let it rise for an hour to an hour and a half. All right, our dough has done rising. I forgot to mention that you do want to put a piece of um, plastic wrap on there so the dough doesn't stick to the cloth. And look at that. That is awesome. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to divide up our dough. Um, this recipe makes enough for about two to three pizzas. So go ahead and take the dough out. Let's just go ahead and cut it in half. I'm gonna go ahead and set this one aside. 
And now we want to uh, roll it out. Now you can use a rolling pin or you can just kind of stretch it with your hands, however you want to do it. I'm not a professional, uh, I'm not a professional pizza slinger, <laughs> but you can kind of. And while we're preparing this dough, you want to preheat the oven to 500 degrees. Yes, 500 degrees. So I got this pizza pan, I'm putting cornmeal on it. This is a really good pizza pan. I really like this one. If you want to pick one up, this is a Wilton brand. I'll, I'll put a link down below where you can pick this particular brand up. So you want to just throw some cornmeal on the bottom. We'll go ahead and peel up our dough here. We'll go ahead and put it on. And we'll just kind of stretch out the sides a little bit here. And you want to just pinch the sides up a little. I think you'll really be happy with this pizza dough. It's just, it's amazing dough. Super soft and elastic -y. Just love it. And then you just put whatever toppings you want on. Start with a little bit of olive oil. Give it a good drizzle. Your favorite pizza sauce. Now I don't like tons of sauce in mine. Like so. And then we add our cheese. Now I bought, for my cheese, I bought a pizza blend. Um, or you, you can grade your own mozzarella. This is a blend of mozzarella, provolone, and jack. We'll go ahead and put it on. Okay, and then the pepperoni. Pepperoni. Okay, ready to go in the oven. And then you'll bake it in the oven somewhere between seven and 12 minutes until the sides get nice and golden brown, the cheese is all melted. All right. Our pizza from our homemade pizza dough is done. It looks amazing. It was really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care. Time for me to dive into a slice. Yeah. Grab this right here.